the first thing after creating mankind after creating adam in his own image and in his own likeness god chose to say was be fruitful of all the words in the dictionary god chose to say to adam was be fruitful think about it god said be fruitful be productive be useful that's what god said the first thing think about that he could have said worship me he could have said be holy he could have said pray he could have said speak in tongues or whatever but god chose to say be fruitful is being fruitful more important than these things yes yes that is what god meant by saying that my brother my sister my friend wake up wake up wake up the question is this are you being fruitful that was the first command and demand from god for mankind when god said be fruitful god knew that we can be fruitful he has kept everything in place everything in place and he commanded adam to be fruitful when god created adam he was naked god created adam from what was available he created adam from the earth from the dust and now that the earth was in his hands and he said be fruitful whatever he, he wanted is available because god has created him in his own image and in his own likeness image means nothing but a copy a duplicate of god and likeness means behaving like characteristics of god we possess both that is the reason human beings are the most creative creature on the earth my brother my sister my friend god said be fruitful that was god's heart for us that is god's heart for us in the book of mark chapter 11 verse 14 we see jesus cursing a fig tree for fruitlessness think about it jesus went on doing well doing good he was healing people he was casting out demons he was raising the dead he was feeding the hungry he was doing so many good things so many good things but only thing only place where jesus cursed is this when there was fruitlessness god cannot take it god cannot take it jesus showed no mercy to that fruit which was not bearing fruit you got it so god expects us to be fruitful to be productive to be useful to be a blessing to others yes my brother my sister my friend that's what we see in the book of luke chapter 13 verse 7 the master came looking for fruits 
Three years I have been repeatedly coming here. This tree doesn't bear fruit. Cut it off. That's what he told the gardener. That was Jesus. The gardener. He went on pleading. He went on interceding. He said, let me put manure. Let me take care of it one more year. Let's see if it bears fruit. If not, let's cut it off. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Wake up. God expects us to bear fruits. We cannot be fruitless. And in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, Verses between 15 to 30, we come across the master leaving the town and giving his servants talents. To one he gave five, another one he gave two, another one he gave one. The five made another five, the two made another two. The one who received one, he went and buried. And God when the master returned, he appreciated the one who made five from five and two from two. And he rebuked and he cursed the one who buried his talent. My brother, my sister, my friend, we all have gifts and talents. We all, all human beings, we have something or other. God has created every one of us in a unique way. We all have something. And God expects us to use it, to produce from it, to bring more out of it. My brother, my sister, my friend, God expects us to be fruitful. When they were producing, God blessed them. When they were not producing, God cursed them. My brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. Stop living a selfish life. Stop living a self-centered life. Whatever you have, you are given, is not yours. Remember that. You need to share, you need to care, you need to love everyone around you. That is a fruitful life. Selfish life is a fruitless life. Stop living for you and you alone. Think about it. Trees, they don't eat their fruits. They don't. They never eat their fruits. Fruits are meant for others. People come to the tree, not for the tree, but for the fruits. My brother, my sister, my friend, the gifts, what God has given you, is not for you, for others. Whatever God has given you, that's for others. That's what God says. Wake up my brother, wake up my sister, wake up my friend. The day is coming. We will have to stand before God to give an account of ourselves. God makes it very clear we need to be fruitful. In order to have his blessings, more blessings, if we remain fruitless, God says we are cursed. Wake up brother, my sister, my friend, wake up. God loves you so much. That is the reason God is talking to you. The Spirit of God is talking to you. Wake up and change and be fruitful to others. Be a blessing. Be productive. Be useful to others. That's what God expects from you. My brother, my sister, my friend. We need to be fruitful upon the earth. We need to be useful to the people around us. We need to be a blessing for the people around us. At the same time, we need to bear fruits for God as well. That's what we see in the book of John chapter 6, verse 27 to 29. We need to be prepared for eternity. That seed is the word of God which we have received. We have to produce fruits for eternity as well. We need to be prepared for heaven. We need to accept Lord Jesus as a Savior. We need to be baptized in His name and we need to live a holy life and we need to continue in Christ until the end. 
to be prepared for the next world my brother my sister my friend stop being fruitless start being fruitful my brother my sister my friend god loves you jesus loves you i love you until we meet again may god continue to be with you as well amen hallelujah